Hi everyone, so I'm standing because I'm excited because it's the Booktubeathon and I'm going to be reading some books. I have, so far this year, read, and I'm currently reading, my fourth book. So I've read four books, almost. Um, and I'm hoping, because last year I read four books in the Booktubeathon, I'm hoping to do that again. I'm not even, like, imagining there's no, like, possibility where I'm reading all seven books. That's not, like, realistic. Um, but... Four books is doable, it's achievable, I've done it before, I can do it again, so if I do, I will double the amount of books that I've read in this year. It'll still not be great, because it'll be eight, but it's something. So that's what we're striving towards here. These are the books that I'm going to attempt to read. There are seven reading challenges, I have seven books to show you. The first reading challenge is to read a book with a person on the cover. I have picked Release by Patrick Ness. There's a person here, a person there, and a person there all in silhouette. Um, I really like this cover. I love Patrick Ness, and this is, he was the entire reason that I picked this up. I don't know what it's about, but I assume nothing, because I'm not an ass. Um, okay. Uh, at the back it says, sometimes the end of, sometimes the end of your world is the start of your life. Okay. Um, sure. Uh, yeah, I don't know what this is about. I want to go into it blindly. I know it's going to be written well and that I'm going to enjoy the writing. Um, and hopefully I will enjoy the story and the characters and all the other stuff. So, excited to read this. Number two is to read a hyped book, and I've decided to pick up Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Ellery Sainz. Um, this is a book that is very hyped. Okay. Sure. Turn your lawnmower on. Lawn lawnmower? Oh. Okay, so he was like doing like the side things, you know, like with that weed cutter thing, and now he's doing like the full lawn. Um, should I keep going? Should should we? How loud is this for you? Should let me know if I should continue. I'm just looking at someone mow their lawn now. Um, he really doesn't need to mow his lawn. It's unnecessary. There's not that much grass. There's more leaves. Yeah, I'm gonna continue because, you know, life life continues, life goes on, so will I. Um, this is this book, it's hyped. Um, I think for a good reason, I hope. I am excited to read it. It has gotten so many rave reviews and so many is so many's favorite book. Is a favorite of many. Um, a favorite book of many. I'm excited to see what's up. And I don't know, I just feel like this is well-loved, and I'm excited to maybe love it myself, so that's the second book. The third challenge is to finish a book in a day, and this is the book that I'm hopefully going to finish. It's a graphic novel, it's Amulet by Kazu Kibu Kibuishi. I looked up his name like a week ago, I should have done it again before this video, I apologize, I will look it up in future, um, so I can say it correctly, hopefully. If I didn't say it correctly, I probably didn't, during the Booktubeathon. Um, this is book one in the Stonekeeper series, I think there are seven. Um, I don't know if this is middle grade or young adult, um, it seems young adult, middle grade, leaning middle grade, um, but I've heard from so many people, or like, I've seen reviews a while ago, and the only thing that I can remember from them is that it's darker than it looks or seems, um, which is a good thing in my books, so I'm excited to read it, I don't know anything else about it, other than that it's a graphic novel and there are, like, octopus legs coming out here. Hey, octopuses, they scare me. They should. They're scary. Um, they're, you know, did you watch Life? No. That was not a great movie. It was scarring. Anyway, this is the third book. I'm gonna finish this in a day, possibly. Number four is to read about a character that is different from you. Persepolis is very different from me by Marjane Zatrapi. This is a book that I've tried and tried to read, or I haven't tried to read. I've just said I wanted to read and then not picked it up because that's my way. Um, this is about, I believe, the author's childhood um, in Iran, and there's radical Marxists, there's revolution. It's very different from my life. Um, and I'm excited to read this. I've heard great, great things every time I mention this book. People say that it's so good and that I should watch the movie. I really want to read it. I really want to watch the movie. This is like a priority, I think. I say that and then I would just, just won't pick it up. Number five is to finish a book completely outdoors. This is the book that I'm going to read. Um, it's winter. I am not going to sit outside, like, reading a book um, that's longer than this. So this is not even cheating. This is a book. I will read it outside. Um, I'm not even, it's 50 pages. 
So, it's gonna take a while for me. I'm a slow reader. I'm still gonna be outside for, like, a minute, so, yeah. <laughs> this is the book that I'm gonna read. I'm excited to finally read something from Elizabeth Gaskell, because I've been wanting to read something from her, and I hope that this will encourage me to read more. Um, I don't know what it's... Okay, short little... Let me just read it. A ghostly child roams the no, no, northern... Northern Berlands. Northern Berlands? Nor a ghostly child roams the Northumberland moors, while fairy tale characters gather at a strange party in these two Victorian Gothic tales. Two? Okay. Interesting. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to read this. Fairy tales was not what I was expecting from this, but yeah, I was expecting nurses. Um, I suppose I shouldn't have, because it's an old nurse's story. I, but I was expecting, like, a story about a nurse that a nurse was telling. Um, yeah. <laughs> Number six is to read a book you bought because of the cover. This is Death Note, Black Edition 3. It is volumes five and six. Um, and I bought this not because of the cover, but because I was changing editions. I bought it because of the edition, but that's sort of the cover, you know, that's more than the cover, really. So I'm doing more justice to this question than it actually asked for me to do, which is good of me. Um, so yeah, I want to read this. I'm excited. And I think in my, um, wrap-up, I said that this was one of the books that I wanted to read this month, and so I will. Hopefully. And finally, number seven is to read seven books, and I want to read this. This is, again, a book that I wanted to read in my wrap-up. Um, it is Perfume, the Story of a Murder by Patrick Susskind. It's about a person who has a heightened sen sense of smell. He lives in 18th century Paris, and he smells a virgin and creepy, I expect. Dark, strange things happen. Um, it says, Laced with sense and suspense, this is a beguiling tale of lust, desire, and deadly obsession. I am shocked that I did not drop up on that. Did not trip up on that sentence. Okay. Um, but yeah, that is my booktube on TBR. I'm running out of, um, space on my camera, so I'm gonna say goodbye. Good luck. Okay. Bye.